it's an Easter tradition people won't let slide by decorating Easter eggs. It's a holiday staple. And if you've done it the same way for years, consider switching things up. Because each day this week, our creative guests will be sharing fresh, fun, and festive egg decorating techniques for you to try at home. From wooden to real, we've got quite a lineup of inspiration. So set aside those grocery store dip die kits because you will be amazed and empowered by the many ways we have found to make your eggs extra special. Our first egg artist is none other than the lovely and talented Natalie Malin. Natalie, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I mean, you may be her fan on social, which I am, and I have been for a long time, but what did you bring so for nice us? Of you. Okay, we are painting wooden eggs. Oh, then they last. Have you, you seen these in the them. store? I've seen them. I've had them, and I'm a professional artist, and I've even been like, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to mess them up, but the great thing is they are really easy to paint. Okay, so tell, tell us what you've decided to use. Okay, so I'm using a type of paint. It's called acrylic gouache. This is just really, really matte, and it comes in lots of really good colors. I buy this just at Blick downtown. You can buy it online, but if you're just going to the craft store, you can use craft paint too. No problem using just a normal acrylic paint that you have. But this is acrylic wash. Gouache. Gouache. Yes, oh. it's like okay. wash with a G in With front. a G, okay, yes. okay. And it's spelled all Difference. What does nope. that mean? Don't Just worry about more that. Matte, you it's said. more matte. Yeah. Okay. So the matte paint makes it a little bit faster to paint them because the, the coverage is so much better. So that's what I'm using on these personally, but you don't need to go buy professional paint to you can paint use your acrylics. Yeah, you can use okay. acrylics. If you're going to use acrylics, I would maybe bump up a little bit from the dollar range and go from there. Well, this matte does look really beautiful. Isn't it so pretty? It almost looks like suede. Yeah, it does. Yes. It does. Okay, tell us your techniques. I All mean, right. as she mentioned, she's a professional artist, but you're going to give us some tips. So I'm maybe we can tips. make ours look half as pretty you, as yours. It is all about the brush. I love these little oval mop brushes, and you can buy these at the craft store too. This one's made by Princeton, and I love this particular brush for this project. Okay. So what we're going to do is a little five-petaled flower, and I'm just going to show you that here on this egg. So... It's very, very simple. Have you watered these brush. down at all? No, no, this is just how they come. Okay. She's showing so us this. So we're just gonna do one, and it's really hard to paint away from you, so <laughs> like, don't do it the way that. And you're not worried about them being exactly perfect in size. Right, because nature is not symmetrical. Mm -hmm. She's showing us the easy way. We get to do it facing ourselves, so yeah, it'll you be get to, even. You get to do it, there we go. Okay, so we're just gonna do five. And then once that's dry, then you can come and put a little circle, mm -hmm. or I have this other tool. These are amazing. Let me grab my thicker one. Nope, it's this one. Okay. This is called an acrylic marker pen. Yes, I've used these paint pens and before. And I love, I, I love, have you used the Posca one? No. I love this brand because okay. they're just so opaque. Posca. But they work really well. Yeah, Posca pens. And so. Can we hold this? Yeah, do you want that, that? So a Posca pen, just makes it easy for you to put dots, or if we want to add a little stem, I can't even tell what that looks like, but we're gonna pretend <laughs> it's a very straight stem. Yes! So the Posca pens are really great to add little layers on top of things. You start with your leaves and florals first, okay. I would recommend, and then do your biggest flower, and then start filling in with smaller things like dots and smaller flowers and that kind of thing. Now here's the thing, if you mess up, I messed up a ton. Mm -hmm. You can just scratch it off or you can paint over it with a different color and no worries. You can put it sandpaper. And that paint pen's already dry. It dries so fast. Yeah. That's the best thing about the paint pen and using acrylic paint in general. Like this is probably even really yeah. fast to dry already. It is. Now what do you recommend with like layering our colors? Because this is dark. Is a white yeah. going to cover on that if we wanted to do a white center? Very good question. So if you're using a nicer brand of paint, if you're going up from, don't use the very cheapest acrylic is my recommendation. Go up just a little bit and that'll have more pigment in it okay. and it will cover so much better for you. If you're using you. a really budget-friendly option, <laughs> yeah. it'll be great, but it'll look more like a watercolor, and that'll be beautiful as well. So that's another good. And then the other thing, if you're using nice paint, you don't want to waste it. Mm -hmm. And so I always use, this is called a Stay Wet palette, and I've had this one probably 20 years. I've never heard of this. This is the best thing. Okay, this will Stay Wet life. palette. Yes, a Stay Wet palette. Now a Stay Wet palette has in the bottom a sponge. And this sponge, you soak that and you soak this, this is special paper, in the sink for 10 minutes in hot water. Does, if you buy this paint palette, does it come with the paper? Uh -huh. Okay. And you can buy refills. You don't have to buy a whole nother one. Mm -hmm. It comes with refills and you can, but I use these forever. Now this will keep your paint, it just seals nice and tight. Good for days and days and days. 
Wow, that so, is so cool. If you're so using you, great paint. Because that's the problem. You, you're not finished. It's you drying have to throw all your paint you, away. Yes, exactly. Nobody likes that. So this lasts for days. Days and days and days. If, and you can use this for oil paints. You can use it for acrylic paints. You can use it for all kinds of different paints. It doesn't have to be just acrylic paints. And it comes in a bunch of different sizes. But this is definitely worth adding. And they're not expensive. Okay, now you mentioned that if we mess up on these, you can just scratch it off like with yes. your fingernail or do you have a technique yes, for that? I, you know, I use just a little X-Acto blade. So I was doing some of the ones with just a wooden Look at how gorgeous. background. Mm -hmm. And this made me a little nervous because I couldn't use, there's no base color, right, to fix an edge. Yeah. So I just started using my X-Acto blade so you could even smooth out edges if you, you can smooth out to? edges. You can, you know, add little veins. Oh wow! To your, you could get really fancy with. Could this. you do this if you had done a base coat? You could, and then it would be the wood color no, showing underneath. through. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. If you have a base coat, let's say on this one, you could just use this pretty soft pink and, mm. you know, fix your edge. Oh, what a great tip! Now you have other tips like this. You actually do some classes. Uh, I do. Okay, yeah, tell I have us about online it. Online watercolor classes. So if you want to learn to paint, I talk about a lot of the basics in drawing, painting. Uh, frustrations people have learning to watercolor. I'm really big into teaching you tips and tricks to fix things. Okay, well, we love it. Thank you so much.